Do you need a little bit more attention? You have a problem that needs just some undivided sit down time with me to help you? Well, on my Google site, I have appointment slots that you can use to book in some time with me one-on-one -on -one to get some help. Let's have a look at how to do that right now. On my Google site, I have a lot of information, but the most important part is that you can book in time for getting some help. And that is right here. Here's my calendar that shows what's actually on my calendar right now. And if you pick any of these gray spots, they will actually make a, an appointment for you to have some one-on-one -on -one time. There's also some after hours time if you really need it. Do you wanna make one of these for yourself? Well, here's the tips to do that right now. This all starts in Google Calendar. So go to calendar.google.com. When I'm creating appointment slots, it's not that difficult. I could drag that, that time out. And then on this first window, I wanna make sure that I change this to appointment slots and give this a name, maybe, all right. And then it says slots of duration of 30 minutes. If you know that you only need 15 minutes to talk to these kids, maybe just change that down to a smaller amount of time so you can get more bookings in. This might also work well for booking out uh, different appointments for parents if they're trying to uh, get a parent-teacher conference. So I can change out my slots of duration, and then I can click on more options. In this area, I might also want to change the frequency of this. If I'm only programming this for one day, that's okay. But if I want this to be a recurring event on my calendar, I can choose weekly on that day, or I could do custom, and I could choose the days of the week I want that to appear on. I actually think it's better to do weekly on a day and then duplicate the appointment slot. And I'll show you how that works. All right, so if I've got this set up for weekly on a Friday, and I've just got this going from 9 a.m. to noon, and I hit save. Click on the appointment slot again, and I hit options, and I hit duplicate, and I just hit save at first. Then I could drag that second day over it, and then I wanna choose this and all following events. But if I right click on this, or sorry, just click on this and hit duplicate here and save, then I can drag these out for the rest of my, my weeks. This and all following events. So the reason why I wanna do that is if I make a I wanna make a change to Thursday because I have a meeting here that's recurring, I could hit all events, and now it's only made that change on Thursday. So if I had a meeting in that little slot in, in there that's gonna keep on coming up, I can work around things. So you can do this however you want, but that's a, a nice little hack to this pro process. The other thing that I can do with this is that if I wanna make sure that I have a programmed lunch break in there, right? I can click in and duplicate the, those appointments and just hit save. But now I can drag that whole thing down to after lunch. And I can hit all events. But now this is in the afternoon, so I can change that title and call this a PM appointment. Okay, I put in all this, the spots where I want to be available for people. Now I want to show how do I see the, uh, those, uh, those appointments. So if I click on one of these events, it says go to appointment page for this calendar. This is the link that we need to share out to the people that you want to get booked in. All right. So if I click on one of these, uh, these slots, it's going to add in on the calendar and then it's going to put their name in parentheses behind that appointment. They can change the title of it but it's gonna show up on your calendar. So if I want this to appear on my Google site, all I need to do is grab the URL, go to my site, press embed, and buy URL and paste. 
and then I hit insert. So now I've got this widget that shows my availability and I could re uh, resize this depending on how big I want this to be. And I could drag it down further too. I could put the text above and say, please click on a gray uh, event to book your preferred time. All right, and I could even make, I could change that style of my text to a heading and yada, yada, yada. So if I want to have a widget that shows just what I'm doing on my calendar, what, what's actually on my calendar right now, so that the people can sh see that I'm busy during that time. Um, all I need to do is go to Google Calendar and click on the calendar I want people to see and hit options for, for that calendar. And then I want to go to settings and sharing. Our calendar settings help us to make our calendar vi visible to the public and or other people in your school. So our first section is our calendar settings, what this is called, and what time zone it's in. If we scroll down to the access permissions, if we want parents to be able to see your calendar, you need to choose this option because then the, because those, those emails are not available within wapakaschools.org. If you're just using it with your students and your, your other staff, then you can just use the make available for wapakaschools.org. After you've got these, uh, these checkboxes set, you can scroll on down to the integrate calendar section. What we wanna do is use the customize area to help us build our widget. When I'm building my calendar widget, there's some things I want to remember. One is that I probably want my widget to show up in agenda view. So if I change my default view to agenda, it gives a much more readable format. I also want to make sure that the only the calendars I want people to see are displayed. So I can turn off other calendars. Maybe there is a reason why you want to show multiple calendars, but they all are going to need the same permissions. But the, for this calendar, I just want to see my Wapaka Schools A. Schultz calendar. I can also change what day of the week starts. So I can have that on Monday if I want. And check my time zone. And I can leave pretty much everything else the same. Give the, the, the title, the calendar a title. And I'm ready to copy my embed code by pressing the squares. Then I can go and put that in on my Google site. So I can press the embed button here, or I can click and put, and I can press the embed button here. And I can, this time, instead of using the URL, I can use the embed code. And here, I just paste in my embed code. I don't need to know what all that gobbledygook means. It's really just inline CSS. It gives me a preview of what it looks like. And then I can just hit insert. Because it should look like what I had a program for. And now I can take that little widget and I can slide that down. Resize it. And all I need to do then is publish my site. I hope this helps out and you can add your Google Calendar and appointment slots to your Google site.